hi friends this is Jagbir Singh today we are going to do analysis of a slab and we will going to design the slab so for that let's just create a slab so I'm just going with add plate button so let me just orient my plane on XZ and simply add a plate of 4 by 5 so my plate is here let me just do it smashing by right clicking and select generate plat plate mesh and use quad quadrilateral and take a division of 10 each side so my plate is here now what I have to do I have to create its thickness or specification for that let's go to general tab and choose thickness and for instance I am taking 0 0.150 meters of thickness of this particular plate and let me just assign this thickness to assign to view now I have to create some support to support my slab so let's go to support and create a fixed kind of support and then select this support and assign it let's just sorry let me just go on to my so let me just orient it like this way so that I can select my these nodes like this after that use control button to select like this also use ho and hold your control button so that you can do your selection properly and then assign to selected nodes and assign now i have created my supports and specification now i have to apply some loads on it so for that let's go to load in definition and create load cases you have to create two loads here one is type of dead load to define it let me just give name as that and let's just create one more as live load and give name as live so now just choose that load and first thing will be the cell weight in minus one minus y direction with a factor of one and the second thing is my plate load now the point is that this the plate load which we are going to define in my dead load is the finished load of the plaster kind of thing so th for that let's just give minus one and in local z direction because it will be acting locally onto the slab so just add it after that let's go to live load and add as plate load again and it will be acting on zy direction and this is a live load of like humans or whatever movable load is there onto my slab so let's just take it as minus 3 in zy direction and add so my cell weight is of my entire slab so is assign it to view this one also assign to view and my live load also acting onto my so let's so assign to view now you can see arrows are downwards that means it's acting according to my gravity so now what I have to do analysis and print and simply just analyze this model So I am having zero error, zero warning and zero node. So just let's close it. Now what I have to do, I have to now design my slab. So I have done my analysis. Now let's go to design. So for that, let go to this particular tab here, design tab. And you will see there are some codes here. First of all, the most important thing is that on which design you want to go steel design or concrete design. So if my steel design is selected, it will only show steel codes. 
so if I have to do it concrete design then select concrete and you can see there is a change in the codes now all these codes available are my concrete codes so for instance we are doing our design in BS 8000 BS 8000 friends this is my concrete code and I am going to use this code so now there are three tabs here select parameters define parameters and command so this is in sequence so we will be discussing each tab what it exactly does and why it is important so now each design is having some parameters for example if my slab is there what grade of concrete is is used to make that slab after that what type of what is my yield strength of my steel which is being used into that slab so these parameters we have to select what are the parameters we want to give what are the parameters information we have so that we can provide into our design so these are the things we have to select from here so let's just select this parameter select parameter and you will see there are some available parameters here so let's bring all of them here and now what are the parameters information we have we will bring in this box so if you are doing concrete design then there are two most important parameters that you must have to define to do your concrete design the first one is compressive strength of the concrete this is very important and the second for most important parameter is yield strength of main reinforcement so just select this one and add select this one and add now these two parameters we have selected then hit ok the moment you hit ok you will get two parameters and now you have to define these two parameters to define these two parameters you have to go to this tab and then hit ok so these two parameters are coming here FC and FY main so FC is my compressive strength of my concrete which grade of concrete you want to give for example let's select this one and i am just giving two five triple zero so now what is why i am giving this two five zero zero this is my compressive strength of my concrete grade and like for example i am giving two five double triple zero now if we have to design a uh, what we call it foundation then we usually take as 20 that means 20 and triple zero this is grade of concrete which we usually use for my concrete uh, concrete foundation but if you like the mo uh, the most strong grade is 30000 which is used for like high multi-story buildings and this is the most uh, strongest concrete grade which is available so far for example like for Burj Khalifa also they I guess use this one with some uh, some short of modifications okay so I'm just giving this one and I'm just going to add it now you will see let's just close it you will see FC 25000 has been added now again go to define and go here now what it is yield strength of main reinforcement steel so what type of steel uh, reinforcement you want to use you can give its grade so for example we are taking 415 415 zero and because now this is my grade of steel which I am going to use there are different different grades and for example if you are taking a grade below 415 that means it is mild steel and like for uh, for example in India we use uh, like uh, and uh, the grade available to us is 550 D that is the most strongest grade of the steel and like for like the structures which are steel based and which are multi stories which we uh, in which in this guys kind of uh, structures we use this kind of steel grade for uh, 550 D so I'm just taking for instance 415000 and I'm going to add it just close it and you will see it is available here after that what we have to do we have to do some commands like 
what are the things we we have in our design if we have a beam then we have to add beam if we have a column then we have to add column now in this my, my particular design i have only design slab element so i'm going to add it so just close and you will see here my design element is also there so now we have to define them so so now what I have to do I have to tell where uh, my concrete is being applied assigned to view yes and I'm just my steel also assigned to view and this is my design element that means my slab so just this is my slab only so I am just going to assign to view yes and now what I have to do I have to just do analyze again and now my analysis of design has now we have zero error zero warning and zero notes just go to output file and just done so just go to concrete design now you will see this is I am having 101 elements that means my uh, my slab was being broken into mashing of 101 so now it is showing me element number 2 plate number 2 so if you want to show the plate number then you want have to right click and labels and plate numbers take this one on and just okay you will see 2 to 101 so we are talking about right now this one too so just go to my report now this is my re representation of my seat and it has cut one segment one section of a a here and this have been represented here as section a a and it is showing the location of my bars steel bars now it is showing that now my design code is bs8007 and the specification of this element is depth 150 which we have given mm because we have given in 0 0.150 meters so now it is showing in mm my width is 1000 mm and my cover cover on my bars is 20 mm so now my ultimate limit state on top and bottom now I am uh, the software have given me uh, a suggestion to use three bars of 12 mm bars 16 mm bars and 20 mm bars at particular locations where I have to use which one so that my design can be good after that what is my serviceability of service uh, service serviceability limit of uh, my this particular element like how long it can be served after that thermal crack insulation uh, calculations each and every now we are coming to element number three so it is showing me 12 mm bars from center to center distance 400 359 569 16 like this, this this so this is my main result my main analysis result is this one so so this was my slab design friends so if uh, you like this video video you can subscribe this channel so that my coming up videos you can watch you can get a notification whenever i post a new video and you can like my video if you want to have a video of one particular topic then kindly kindly write it down into the comment section and for more information about my previous videos you can uh, you can go into descriptions so this is jagbir singh sign off today let's see jai ho jai bharat thank you